Hi guys, welcome to the kitchen today. So I am not the biggest cook. I'm not, I don't enjoy it too much. I cook because I have to or because I want to eat something in particular. Um, but nevertheless, I, there are a few go-to recipes. I think everybody has that. You have your a few go-to recipes that you enjoy cooking or that you tend to cook more often, either because the people around you enjoy them or because you enjoy them or because they're easy or for whatever the reason or multiple reasons. And we're gonna be making one of those today. And I thought I'd share with you my favorite pea soup. So I knew I was gonna be making this and I did most of the shopping for it two days ago. And I thought I'd get the fresh things I need on the day when I'm on the day I'm cooking it. But I forgot one of the main ingredients, at least for the taste, I forgot the mint. So when I'm almost done cooking, I'm gonna to have to turn off the hob, run to the supermarket, get the mint and then come back. It doesn't matter, I can get started with it anyway and do most of it because you're not supposed to cook the mint in the soup. So it doesn't matter, we're gonna move on anyway. Now, here's what you need. The ingredients, a kilo of peas, frozen peas. I guess you could use other, but it says frozen peas in the recipe, so why bother? <laughs> 1.2 liters of chicken stock. Got half a liter prepared already. I'll make another half liter afterward, another 700 milliliters afterwards. Then you're gonna need three scallions or spring onions, whatever you wanna call them, finely chopped, including the green, a few leaves of lettuce. Yes, lettuce goes in the soup. I don't know what it does. It, maybe it makes the soup nice and fresh or something. Maybe it makes it more green, although we have the peas. I don't know, I honestly don't know what it does, but it feels a little bit exotic to put lettuce in the soup because I've never put lettuce in anything warm before. So, um, if you know any other recipes where you actually cook lettuce, then let me know in the comments. Three tablespoons of butter, it's probably a bit more, but you can never have too much butter, can you? 250 milliliters of cream, a pinch of sugar, a little bit of salt and pepper to taste, and mint, fresh mint, which I don't have yet, but I'm gonna get started on the rest and then I'm gonna get the mint, run and get the mint in between while we're working. So. Let's get started. You need a big pot and you start with frying the spring onions in the in the butter. And the butter can, can already go in while I'm putting the spring onions. I don't quite remember whether you're supposed to chop up the lettuce leaves. Um, however, I will make them just a little bit smaller. Um, I'm gonna use, that's one, two, three, four leaves. A bit of food. Mm. You're supposed to fry the spring onions until they're soft, which they are, so now the rest is going in. So the rest goes in, the, apart from the cream and the mint, that's the salt, the sugar, lettuce, stock. Oh, and bees, duh. <laughs> Oh, oh dear. Oh, I don't know where the blade. Quickly pop some stuff in there. So basically, all that's left to go in is mint and cream. Cream goes in first, mint goes in very last. And now we cook that until the peas are tender. Basically. <laughs> And that's what it looks like now. I've got everything in there. I've got the chicken stock in there, obviously the spring onions and the butter, salt, pinch of sugar, lettuce and the peas. So all the ingredients are in the pot now, apart from the cream and obviously the mint that I don't have. <laughs> And we're going to cook that now until the peas are tender for about 15 minutes. To be honest, I think it'll probably be quicker. So it, this soup does not take very long and it's not very hard. So it's nice and, and it's delicious. So that's a big plus. I'm back from the supermarket. You can mainly tell by my skin and my face. I am so hot because I've hurried up so much. I got mint and <laughs> turns out I just got them out of the packet. They look like nettles. The mint leaves, look at, look at those, look at the size of it. I mean, look, I mean, I can cover, I can cover off my face with it. Look at the size of this leaf. It are mint leaves like this size, usually. Never mind, we've got mint, that's all that matters. So basically, there is not much left to do. 
Um, the mint goes in now. You use about 25 grams of mint. Um, mint goes into the into the soup. You don't cook the mint with it, however, otherwise I think the leaves go bitter or something. Then you mix it all up with this baby. Then the cream goes in and then you're done. So it is really easy to make and also fairly quick if you don't forget to mint, if you don't forget the mint and have to run to the supermarket in between. And it is so humid outside. Oh, good heavens. La 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 la. The soup turned out, just to show you the consistency, a little bit thinner than it usually does. And to be honest, and I prefer it, I should have used less chicken stock. So I recommend you don't use the amount it says in the recipe. I just wasn't thinking. Um, I was just trying to get it done. Um, so it's a little bit thinner than I like it. I actually like soups quite thick. Uh, anyway, this type of soup anyway. Um, that won't ruin the taste, however. Mm. Mm. Mm, I love it. It's delicious. Oh, I love this soup. And I cannot recommend it enough. It's quickly and easily made. It doesn't have many ingredients, so there's not much to buy or not much to do. It's not gonna be much, it's not gonna be very expensive. It's not a big shop you have to do. And it's delicious. And it's great. I've made this at, at parties and family gatherings and um so housewarming parties and stuff like that just made like double the amount and people loved it. Mm. Mm -hmm. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you make the soup and I hope you enjoy it as much as I do. As I said, take some liquid out at the end. If you do use the full amount of liquid, um, take some out at the end. You can always add it back. That's what I did not do and what I did not think today. Think you should have taken up liquid. Never mind. We'll roll with it. This it's it's absolutely delicious anyway. Like it's, it doesn't change the taste whatsoever. So I hope you have a nice day. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed, click the like button and click subscribe, please. That will help me out a lot. And have a nice time. Stay happy. Stay healthy.